Hello and welcome to section 4 of Building User Interaction and Model View Controller. In the previous session, we learned how to work with the user interface, using storyboards and auto layout to design for different sizes. In this section, we're going to have a look at how we can create the model for your view requirement. Then, we're going to walk through the view lifecycle. After that, we're going to hook up all of your user interaction on your user interface into your view controller. Then, We'll have a look at how we can work with the keyboards, accessing notifications, and delegate methods. And finally, we'll implement the UI Image Picker controller so that we can actually access images. So now we're going to create the model for our application. We're going to begin by defining what our model actually is. Then we're going to create a struct. And finally, we're going to look at how we can instantiate our model. You may have heard of the term model view controller before. MVC is used to define a development pattern. The idea is to create a class that performs specific roles to your code. So far, we've created our first view. When following the MVC pattern, the aim is to keep this limited purely to showing the user interface elements. So this brings us on to the model. Following the principles of MVC, the model in Swift is effectively a way of easily accessing data programmatically. We can pass this across from our controller to our view to display it, or from the user input to the controller to create, update, or delete it. When we are building our view, we begin to see a pattern of the data structure we are going to want to use. So far, we have two components. We have the name of the dream, and we have the image of the dream. However, behind the code, I'll also want to know when this was created, and also in the future, I may want to know if I've achieved it. So let's get started on our model. To do this, I'm going to create a simple class to contain my data. I do this by right-clicking over here in the Project Navigator and then selecting the New File option. When I do this, I'm presented with a series of options similar to when we were creating the project. At the top, I'm going to select Source, and then I'm going to select Swift File. I'll click Next. I'm going to name this file Dream. As you can see, when I've created this file, I've got an almost empty file. There's no class, there's no strokes, there's nothing in here. So I'm going to go to the bottom here, and I'm going to create my class. I'm going to call this class Dream. It's not going to inherit from anything. Then I'm going to want to create these four new properties. I'm going to have my name, which I'm going to set as a string. I'm going to put a default property in here of an empty string. I'll do the same with my image. I'm going to call that image URL. I'm going to set that as a string and again set that as an empty string. Then I'll create my created property and put that as an NS date. And finally, I'm going to create this new one which is uh, achieved. I'm just going to set that as a Boolean. I'll set that to false. So now I have my model. What I want to do now is to actually test out how I create this model. So I'll save this and I'm going to jump across to my view controller. Within this method here, I'm going to very quickly create my first dream. I'll do that by setting it as a constant. And then I'm going to create dream. And I set that to dream. This is how we create a new instance of a class in Swift. Now I want to set the properties of my dream. So I'm going to put dream dot. When I do this, you can see that I get a list of options of the four different items that I created, the four different properties. So I'm going to select the name and I'm going to put in here Climb Mount Everest. I don't have a link to an image for Mount Everest yet, so I'm going to leave that blank. And then I'm going to put in here Dream dot created. And I'm going to set that as just a fresh instance of NSDate. Since I set default values on these properties, I don't actually need to complete each and every item when I'm creating my dream. I can simply allow the code to take care of that for me. So now we have our model, we can begin to work with this throughout the rest of our code. Now we've created a class that will work as our model, which we'll be using throughout the project. 